Hello, welcome to Puppet AR Flog. In this video, I want to show you how to turn um, something like this, like this beautiful 3D Phoenix bird from Sketchfab into an augmented reality experience. It's actually very easy. If, you're, if you have an iPad or iPhone running iOS 13, there is an app called Reality Composer app, the one that I will be using here to convert this into AR. So this, again, this Phoenix Bird by Norberto 3D. Uh, basically, I have already processed it and converted into USDZ. I'll show it to you. So you need, you need this uh, to be converted first as USDZ. So this is the bird. It's a bit too big, but basically um, I should have made it smaller, but that's fine. So, so I got it already here. Uh, I convert it using USDZ convert. Sometimes I need to process it using Blender, but all you need is basically Reality Composer app. And I'm just gonna make a scene, a reality scene. So first of all, you always choose an anchor. Anchor, you want it to be on the floor, horizontal or vertical, like on the wall with image or face or objects. At the moment you have five different anchor to choose from. I will be using image. So with image anchor, of course you need to provide some kind of image and I will give it an image and I already have this Phoenix bird marker which is just a screenshot that i took earlier and this marker can be any size but i'm gonna base like uh, from my iphone maybe around 10 by 7 centimeters for the image and i just need to replace this default object with my phoenix so i'm gonna import my phoenix bird again this is already a usdz object and the one I have, I think the bird is probably too big. Wait, let me check. Yeah, right. So I have a feeling the bird's way, way too big. Now I need to convert it. Now it's a uh, much smaller, this bird. And I need to reset the position. Still pretty big compared to the marker itself so it's like gigantic i need to scale it like 0 0.1 this is probably not very good so when you are doing like converting if you are converting the usdz you have to make sure the size is correct so in this case yeah i definitely need to resize it in blender or just use the usdz convert meters per unit so I'm gonna have like a really big gigantic phoenix but it's okay that's the marker and this is the phoenix and I want to test it so uh, either you print um, print it out the marker image marker or in this case I'm using my iPhone yeah. I'll, I'm gonna show you very quickly there you go the bird just jump into the iPhone um, this is actually quite nice. I always like the image anchor. It's one of the the most interesting anchor compared to the rest. There is actually like object anchor as well. Uh, the Phoenix at the moment doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's just like static. But uh, in the original 3D asset, you know, it's actually flapping and moving. You might actually notice there is some kind of weird normal happening. So there's a, probably the normal is flip or something that needs to be fixed in uh, using Blender or other 3D package. But the image marker is working. The animation is not working. So I'm selecting my uh, bird here. And then let's see, go to behavior, tap. You can set it to tap or when the scene started. Basically, you want to play back the animation. So USDZ animation. 
simply play back when I tap it. You can make it looping simply by tapping that button. It does look like looping. And then test it out. Okay, seems to be working. Let's see. So this is like doing nothing. Weird wings kind of overlapping, but it's okay. Tap and the bird's moving. And the bird, uh, we can actually just move it up a little bit. So the shadow is a bit higher. Now it's a bit correct. Sorry, the, big, uh, the, the bird is a bit big, but yeah, it's, uh, it's working. That's what's important. Okay, that's the bird, phoenix bird. Tap and it's working. And let's see if I lift it up. The bird goes with the image marker on my iPhone. So this is like a, a quick, quick way to create AR experience. And then you at this stage, you, you, you can share it with your friend. Normally, I like to just, if I want to test it myself, I just export it out. Export it as a file, dot .reality file that you can share with other iOS 13 users on iPhone or iPad. Or also it will work on Mac OS, but you cannot do the AR on Mac OS yet. Um, yeah, export it, export it as a notes or as email or iMessage or even like WhatsApp, it's gonna work. So yeah, a quick AR creations using Reality Composer. All right, it's pretty cool. Um, let me know if you have any question. Um, I'll help you if you want to convert um, 3D assets into USDZ. Basically, um, if you have like GLTF file format, like the one from Sketchfab, it will work um, most of the time. Sometimes you need to process it inside Blender. But yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. I'll, I'm going to help you. Thanks again. Bye.